Movies are a medium where people mess up, like a lot. Many people don't have the right goals, many people are inexperienced, and many people don't care about the product, but only about the profit. After last season, Shark City and many movies are just put out with no thought or care, or even worse, too much of the wrong kind. Many movies that are considered the worst possible are that way because of low production values, budget, or scripting issues, or just an experience. But these movies, I don't consider movies. I can't think of them that way because they aren't movies. And that's what makes them not my least favorites in terms of the film genre. Humans make mistakes. It happens, but I can't see malice behind this sort of film. However, there is another form of awful movies, which is one so delicately designed to be awful with everything going for it, everything in its favor, and yet it still manages to mess up. These movies have high budgets, famous actors, are parts of series that are beloved and very well done, etc. Despite all though, they still manage to disappoint and hurt the audience by being very bad and poorly made. This is similar to video games. Could you consider Big Rigs awful? Yes. But is it really a game? No. This is due to the lack of a finished product that makes this not entirely a piece of media. Instead of this, you have games like Heavy Rain and LGN games, which are made by profitable companies, with them being video games, that seem almost as if they were purposely made to be bad. Not bad because of lack of effort, bad because the developers put all their resources into making them bad. And with many movies, this can be the case. Many animated movies these days are simply made to be absolutely careless and awful and are only made for exploitation and monetary gain. The reason I have brought you on this long introductory journey is to clarify that I don't hate the movies I hate because of lack of experience or issues with production. I myself have many, 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 many videos that even at the time I disliked. I understand when people make mistakes, because everybody does. I hate the movies I hate because they have no value, and yet were made with all of the previously mentioned things in their favor. One of these films is Alien 3, which is a film that cannot be redeemed. Anybody watching this video who likes Alien 3, stop. I don't want your view. You are not only supporting a bad movie, but also an awful malpractice that has hurt so many. For those still here, you may be thinking, didn't you already talk about Alien 3? Yes, but only for a bit. I spoke towards the whole series and gave my thoughts, but Alien 3 still needs time in the spotlight to be ripped into, torn apart limb from limb, and finally buried for good. I will skip the plot synopsis and everything and just focus on all the flaws I can think of. Everything you are about to hear is my opinion, and it is the right one. Wait, 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 that's not what I meant to say. What I mean is, if you don't like my opinion on this film, tell me in the comments, and we can debate it, which I would love to do. What I would not love is for people to act like I consider this fact, and that no other opinion holds value. I have looked at this film every day from a new angle, and yet I still see almost no value. That does not mean that if you point out something you liked, I will automatically disregard it. I want to discuss and understand. Keep that in mind. With that being said, let's begin ravaging this movie. Alien 3 was made to follow up on the amazing success of the first two Alien films. I said this before, but both of these are masterpiece films that deserve all of their love. Following up this is a nearly impossible expectation, which I understand. I don't expect Alien 3 to be just as good. Heck, I would be okay if it was just eh. But no, they had to make it very awful. The film's main problem is how it extends everything. All the scenes are conducted in a similar fashion, but they all feel like filler. As is my issue with Halloween 3 to some extent. The film feels as if it has the tense 
atmosphere and buildup of Alien Halloween to defend a slower pace, even though it doesn't even attempt. No part of this film feels tense because the atmosphere is just a prison. The look of the film is gross and just not appealing at all. The setting feels so bland and boring. I get that the point is to make it feel like an empty place filled with the rejects of humanity who most grow and change the film's plot, which sounds interesting in concept, but it ends up being squandered by the characters never really changing. If there was a character progression, I would like that, but there is none, and instead you just have horrible people who I have no attachment to. The first two films built up the important characters a ton to make for incredibly impactful deaths, and they also built up the groups as a whole to make deaths of smaller characters more important. Alien 3 does not do this. Instead, the characters rarely ever get developed besides the main prisoner, who gets a minute or two of backstory. This leads to no tension with the alien running loose, and no care for the deceased characters. All it really makes me feel is that I should be watching a different movie! The lack of good character writing and general changes in the characters makes for a very weak plot. At the very least, they could have a great story by including Ripley and the Xenomorph, right? Nope! The Xenomorph here is treated as if it's a threat. No, it's not. Ripley took down one of these by herself, with even fewer materials, all by herself, in a much smaller space, all by herself. Not to mention the Marines took down hundreds of them in the second film as well. The first film built an atmosphere of the unknown, and the second film used your knowledge of the Xenomorphs to build tension in the idea of there being many aliens at once. Alien 3 thinks that by having the alien crawl around like a dog for a minute or two, that is unique enough to strike the viewer with fear. This is not a joke, and no hyperbole, because the dog mimicking is the only unique thing about the alien in this film. It adds nothing, and it is almost never used. And even if it was, I struggle to see what sort of tension this would bring to the film. The original idea of the movie was to put aliens on Earth, which is a great idea. That would have been a whole new level of fear and could have made for possibly the best alien film. But instead, they went in and changed everything. The prison planet looks sort of cool from the few shots we're given, but the whole film takes place in the prison itself, making for really boring set design. Just like how mundane everything else is, the film itself barely has any content on a substantial scale. It's like the death stranding of movies for how it so blatantly is self-indulgent and treats itself like art, yet it can't even provide strong narrative moments or interesting scenes. Alien 3 is 3 hours long and feels like it's 10, not because of how enveloped you are and how action-packed it is like Inception, no, but because of how boring and slow it is. Again, I'm fine with strong, slow build-ups and tense atmosphere building, but when your movie is just mostly uninteresting downtime with no fear or suspense within it, you lose all of my interest. The film pals out the few alien scenes with prisoner talk, the laughably underdeveloped and badly done character relationship between the prison leader and Ripley, and many scenes that try to make for plot twists. These all fail because they barely make any sense. There's a storyline where the prison leader is supposed to be evil, and one about Ripley being sad at losing Newt and Corporal Hicks, but they never make them longer than a minute of intriguing plot. Instead, the film spends so much time focusing on the bullcrap that it's not at all fun. Rather than finishing what it starts and wrapping up storylines, you... You may say that these hint at follow-ups, but they're so exclusive to the film and are connected to characters who were killed off, so they couldn't. The final major issues are the special effects and the ending. The special effects are awful and look like, as I previously said, 
quote, they took a paper cutout of the alien on a popsicle stick and moved it along the screen. The film barely ever attempts to look real, with horrible CGI and green screen effects, as well as the costume designs which look like kitchen appliances. Look at his helmet, and just try and tell me it doesn't look like a colander. Just try! Then we get to the ending, where the idea of Ripley being impregnated by an alien queen herself is not a bad idea, yet it's screwed up so badly. And the idea of her killing herself to save everybody in a sad scene is a good idea, but it's done awfully. Watch it, and just try and tell me it doesn't look like she dropped a paper cut out of herself into the lava instead. for the big poo-poo you took in your pants with this movie, I'll accept it. Oh. 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 some of my harsh past with that movie, but that doesn't mean my work is finished. I know of a movie that somebody suggested, one that includes a certain little tank engine. I now know what I must do, and I'm ready for my next challenger. <laughs>